Hello everybody and welcome to this video where I'm still in the shower and um, I had some more thoughts on some of the stuff we were talking about. So in this video you are going to get some writing advice but you're also going to get some career advice and they're the exact same thing and you just have to apply it differently. So basically, and I'm also filling the tub up so I can like soak my foot. I don't know what the hell I did to my foot, but I messed it up tonight and so whatever. The idea here is finding your why. Like, why the hell are you doing this? Why the hell do you want to do this? What are you trying to achieve? Now, when you are writing, whenever you are looking at anything, that inspires you, whether it is a person on a park bench, to a flower, to a bird in the sky, to a bill in your mailbox, whatever any of this stuff is, always ask why. Why is this inspiring you? Why are you feeling the urge to write about it. Why, I mean, now we're gonna get into the what's and everything, but like, what about this thing is making you want to write? Um, what is it about the way this thing is positioned that is inspiring you? Always ask, like, for the reason why you're doing whatever the hell it is you're doing. And the more you do that, the more your work will be reflective of this. So like, if it's like, well, I wanna write about that bird because I don't know, it reminds me of my grandma, whatever. Like that is your metaphor. That is your, that is your like window into what it is you are writing, okay? So do that with all the writing you do, whether it is a poem, a short story, a novel, a text message. Always ask why, okay? Now, from here, we go into career mode, okay? So this is, and this kind of goes into a little bit what we were talking about last time. Why are you doing this? Are you doing this for fun? Are you doing this for more than fun? If you are doing this for more than fun, what is your end game? What is your goal? Like, what are you doing? And once you figure that out, why are you doing that thing? Then look at the things that you, let's say, could do. Make a list of all these things and then figure out the steps on the ladder as to how to make those things actually happen. But those things aren't gonna happen if you don't ever ask yourself the question. Like you have to ask yourself, why are you doing this for any of this stuff to work? You can't just assume that I wrote a book, so now, okay? You have to have a plan. You have to have some sort of expectation on yourself as to what it is you're actually trying to achieve. And once you know what that is, you have to actually like write it down or something, have it to where you know what that thing is, that you can verbalize it all the time. And it, things are not always perfect. So if you ever decide, actually, this plan kind of sucks, I don't really want to do that, change it. That's why pencils have erasers, you know what I'm saying? So you're totally fine, but always ask yourself why, whether it is with your writing, whether it is with your career, or whether it's like just the people you hang out with or why you're getting the things at the grocery store you're getting or why, I don't know, the shows you watch or the shows you watch. Asking yourself why is super fucking powerful. Like you're constantly going, oh my God, doing this okay so it's good to do so definitely do that um and if any of this if you have already done this kind of stuff leave it down below talk about what your why is 
issues and how that changed how you do stuff. That's super interesting, okay? So until next time, everybody, we're just still typing. So until next time, I will talk to you all later.